you doing? Uh, so we're going to go through a couple gravel bikes today. To start with, we've got our 765 uh, gravel. So we make this in two quality levels on the frame side, a 765 RS and then a standard. Uh, and then we do about six different builds. But uh, purpose-built uh, gravel chassis built around sort of a speed, maybe a extended one-day application. So we've got mounts for a bento box, up to uh, four bottles can mount. So you've got top side, underside mounts as well, but no mounts for panniers or loaded racks. The bike you're seeing here is the Campy Ekar 1x13. And we do this in both the RS and the non-RS. So you've got two different quality levels of build there. And the bike's been uh, you know, pretty successful for us. We're trying to get a few more riders on it, but uh, been a successful chassis so far. So then we've got the 765 uh, powered bike here. So that was the human powered version. Now you've got the human plus powered version. We're running the Fazua or Fazua system, depending on your pronunciation. So this system is a little unique in the sense that the battery and the motor system are a modular component that can be pulled out. You've got a 250 watt hour battery in the sleeve with the motor drive system at the bottom. So anytime we need service or this needs to be taken a look at technically, shop or rider can pop this out. We can send it into quality here in the US to get it serviced easy access to do diagnostics, the rider's never down or out of service. Another unique feature about the Pazua system, and, and we are a class one system, so a 20 mile hour system, is that when the motor is not engaged, there's no drag. So you basically can't tell you have a motor system in play. Um, same exact geometry as the human powered version, just giving you a little extra power. Uh, effective range is about two and a half, two and three quarters hours uh, normal riding pace. Check us out, we've got uh, all the bikes are listed on lookcycle.com and you can check there for availability and pricing. Don't forget folks, Look is a bit synonymous with a huge range of pedals. They effectively invented the clipless pedal, the Mac Daddy variant, the X-Track Race, which I'm gonna be trying out myself very soon. This is the bearing access system, so yep, it's so nice and serviceable if yep. you have a problem. So you've got a cutaway there, obviously your pedal will be complete. Uh, double bridge bearings on the outside glide bearing here so those two bridge bearings the reason we use two instead of one is when you stack two bearings together it's very hard to rock and get them to roll so you get a lot longer uh, bearing life and a lot less axle wear but the whole system is modular pull out one nut whole axle assembly slides out put a new assembly in but if you keep it clean it should last a lifetime of the pedal even the binding mechanisms themselves are replaceable